Asteroid! 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 It's going to happen, okay? Uh, in the wee early morning hours of, uh, tonight, so in early mornings of October 12th, Asteroid 2012 TC4 is going to buzz the Earth. According to spaceweather.com, when the sun rose up over Russia back on February the 15th, 2013, at first it seemed like an ordinary day. Then the space rock hit. Without warning, the morning sky lit up with a second sun as a shock wave shattered windows in hundreds of buildings and injured over 1,500 people in the awakening city. The impactor flew out of the blue. Nobody even knew it was coming, okay? Literally from the direction of the sun where no telescope could see it and took everyone by surprise. Years later, meteorite hunters are still finding pieces of this asteroid that rained down after its 17 meter wide rock disintegrated in our atmosphere. It was 17 meters. Now, tonight, a similar asteroid is approaching the Earth. But this time, NASA knows about it. And it's called 2012 TC4. It measures somewhere between 10 and 30 meters. Most estimates are around 16 to 17 meters. So approximately the same size as the one that impacted over Russia. It may be 30 meters. That's quite a bit bigger. We'll see. And on uh, this early morning hours tomorrow, October 12th, and er so tonight when you go to bed, it'll happen while you're sleeping. It will pass by the earth. Now, they, according to some estimates, it will be within 43,500 kilometers from the surface of the earth or about one eighth the distance to the moon. Now there was, which is around 20, you know, 20,000 miles or so, give or take. Some estimates by NASA is 4,200 miles. Other reports by European space agencies are more like 24,000 miles, which is about what uh, spaceweather.com uh, is saying. But here's the key that no one wants to talk about. The flyby is so close the Earth's gravity will significantly alter the asteroid's trajectory before it exits the Earth-Moon system. So that means even if it's coming 24,000 miles from the Earth, it will get pulled heavily by our gravi gravitational pull. It will bend it toward us. Now the question is, how far does it pull it? Well, we know the orbit of 2012 TC4 well enough to be absolutely pretty certain it won't hit the earth, okay? It won't hit the earth, but how close will it pull it toward us? And what does that mean five years from now when this asteroid comes back around like it did in 2012? To get a better handle on the asteroid's orbit and possible future encounters, an international network of telescopes will monitor uh 2012 TC4 as it goes by, pinging the asteroid with its Goldstone radar. NASA hopes to learn much about the space rock's physical properties, and the space agency will even exercise some aspects of its planetary defense systems. The asteroid is too small to see with a naked eye. However, skilled amateur astronomers using 8-plus-inch telescopes will be able to observe it. At peak brightness, 2012 TC4 will shine like a 13th magnitude star as it zips through the constellations of Capricorn and Sagittarius, according to Astro Bob, who has uh, been working. He's an amateur astronomer, and he's been uh, studying this asteroid for some time. Uh, so it's, it's an incredible situation. It is the third sign of the apocalypse. Your total solar eclipse of the sun on August 21st, certainly the great American eclipse was, uh, was an un, 
unprecedented event and has kicked off. It happened on the first day of Elu and it kicked off 40 day warning for America and the rest of the world. And it definitely was kicking into uh, a 40 day of repentance as far as the Jewish calendar is concerned. Then we know 33 days later, we had the Revelation 12 constellation alignment, which warned us that a red dragon was going to rise. Are we watching the seven headed beast? The new world order would be in the process of trying to rise. Now we're going to have another solar eclipse, total solar eclipse of the sun in less than seven years from today. And it's not on this day, but it will happen on April the, uh, April the 8th, 2024. Between now and then, watch for the beast. Watch for the new world order. Watch the Illuminati to, to truly ra- start rising and forming its globalist one world governance or global citizens. You're going to see a lot of this terminology. And uh, so it's going to be an incredible seven year journey if time should last, I always leave that there because God is fully in control and is even going to shorten the days. We don't know when that will happen. But one thing's for sure, tonight it's going to be a very close shave. Even NASA is calling this a Earth approach of an asteroid. Will there be companion asteroids with it that we can't see? Maybe. Could there be debris that could come so close we could have an impact? Maybe. Maybe. We don't know about all that, but we know this is very close and that this has caught the attention of the entire uh, scientific community because this is a razor thin pass by the earth. The third sign of the apocalypse. As the Feast of Tabernacles is closing, the asteroid will whiz by. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Because the Bible said there will be great signs and fearful sights in the heavens. And we're in this season right now. God bless.